Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have another word to release to you all. This word came to me via a dream that I had on September the 13th. It is one of three dreams. And this word is of a sensitive nature. It's regarding a shaking. And when we hear these things, we are not to enter into a spirit of fear. We have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. The Lord does not want you to be caught off guard. He does not want you to be ill prepared. He wants you to understand what's taking place. And I was reminded of the time of Moses where the Israelites, they were in Goshen and the Egyptian children were experiencing great tribulation. They were experiencing, you know, pestilence and a, a lot of, a lot of difficult times. And so Understand that you are in a spiritual Goshen. The name of Jesus is a strong tower and the righteous run in and they are safe. Amen. He that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. The word of God continues and tells us in Psalms 91 verse 10 that no harm shall come nigh thee nor thy dwelling. The weapon may be formed, but it will not prosper in Jesus name. Amen. So this word wants you to be prepared. God wants you to understand that a shaking is taking place. And so I'm going to share the dream with you. It is a very short dream. And so in the dream, I was in an outside open area and I saw a lion and he was looking at me. And so I started in my mind calculating if I should run inside. And so as I'm getting ready to run inside, I look and the lion went in another direction. And there was a little Caucasian boy outside playing in the dirt or in the sand and I mean in the grass. And then the lion went over him to maul him. And out of nowhere, this man appeared. And I looked and I saw the man and this lion engaging in conversation. I couldn't hear what they were saying. Just they were engaging in conversation and the lion quickly took off. And then I went towards the man to thank him and he vanished. And there was a crowd of people outside. And so I went over to them and I said, did you see where he went? And they said, no. And the dream ended. And so what the Lord is saying here, brothers and sisters, is, oh, and I almost forgot. Yesterday I was on YouTube and I just finished up a video and I was getting ready to put my phone down and a live stream popped up on my phone. And so I clicked out of it and put my phone down and then I heard in my spirit to look at it. So I picked my phone back up and I started to watch it and I caught the part just when the YouTube minister, um, she released this prophetic words on YouTube here. Also, her name is Chantel Ecolombe, something to that. I may have butchered her name. My apologies. But she was speaking about a dream that she had. And I, what I heard was that she said it wasn't her children and that she was looking for them. And she found them in the backseat of a car, crouched over. And she said, whatever is happening... We need to pray for our children. And that is the word that the spirit of the Lord has given me. The Bible tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Amen. We need to come into a time of prayer. We need to cover our children, cover the doorpost of our house, our dwellings with the blood of Jesus Christ. But not only our children, we need to cover others. We need to pray, pray for others, pray for the children, specifically the children right now. We need to pray for them. And in the dream, God is so strategic how he works. He made me know that it wasn't my grandchildren. It wasn't, I only have two daughters and so I, I have grandsons, but it wasn't my, my grandsons because it was a Caucasian little boy. And so God is just telling us it's coming after the children. He wants us to understand that he loves all people. He loves all children. And I was reminded of 1 Samuel in the book of 1 Samuel, how Samuel, you know, he served the Lord at a very young age. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
and also in the book of Matthew, um, Matthew 19, verse 14, it says, suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so it is so important for us to understand that God loves these little children. And 1 Timothy 4, verse 12 says, let no one despise you for your youth. And in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 16, it says, and this is Jesus was referencing the children when he says, it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so what's this about? The word of God tells us in John 10, 10, that the thief cometh but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Oh, dear Lord. So first he comes to steal. He comes to covet that which belongs to the righteous. Amen. And he, he, he is a thief. And then he comes to kill. He's, he's a murderer. He comes to kill us. But he cannot kill the righteous. <laughs> and so, but he comes to kill. And then the word continues and tells us he comes to destroy. Well, what does destroy mean? He's already killed you. Well, he wants to wipe out your seed. He does not want there to be any remnant of you left. And that means your children who are our future generations. Amen. He does not want them to exist. And so he comes but to steal, to kill and to destroy you, destroy you, to devour you, to annihilate you. That is what the enemy wants to do. And that's what this lion that was coming wanted to do to to um, devour this little boy, but an angel showed up and the word of God tells us that when evil abounds, that the grace that much more abounds, God has caused, and he's, he's told me that he has dispersed angels here, right? And there are angels all around us during these times, during these times of shaking and I'm going to share more of that with you in the next video, the next word that the Lord has given me via another dream on the 13th. And so what God is calling you to do is pray, pray for the children, pray for them, cover them, saturate them in the blood, take necessary precautions. I don't know what is coming, but something is coming. And this is a word of caution. Amen. That you will not be caught off guard. But remember, the weapon may be formed, but it will not prosper. Trust the Lord. Cover your children. Pray over them. Psalms 91 prayer. Pray over the children in the name of Jesus Christ and not just our children. Pray over the other children, other people's children, all children. God loves all people. He wishes none to perish. Amen. And so, I know that a harvest is coming and that God is going to raise up our young people. He's going to raise up the youth and the enemy knows this. And so he wants to come after our children. So no, no, pray, brothers and sisters. The word has come for you to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And I believe that's all. And so I pray that this word was a blessing to you all. I love you all. God loves you so much more. And until the next time, God bless you all.